<coughs> okay, so now let's look at the sine wave. Now in this question, we are going to find the RMS and average values of this half wave rectified sine wave. So for this waveform, we have the amplitude to be 10. And then we also have um, the half wave from 0 to pi. And then the negative half cycle has been clipped. So from pi to 2 pi, we have the negative half cycle being clipped. Okay, so for this particular waveform, to find the average and the RMS values, we are not going to use what we started with. We are not going to use the other method that we used in the first two questions. For this particular waveform, to find the average value, the average value of a half wave rectified sine wave is given by the peak value or the amplitude of the signal divided by pi. So straight away, the average value is going to be Vm, which is the amplitude or the peak value is 10. So we have 10 divided by pi. So that is 3.183 volts. And then the RMS value is equal to the peak value or the amplitude divided by 2. So we have 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 5 volts. Okay, so after finding the RMS and average values of a half wave rectified sine wave, how do we find or calculate the average and the RMS values of a full wave rectified sine wave? Now, for this particular waveform, the average value is simply twice the peak value divided by pi. So for the half wave, we had the amplitude divided by pi because we had the positive half cycle and then the negative half cycle was clipped from pi to 2 pi. Now for this waveform or for the full wave rectified sine wave, we have, let's say two positive half cycles. Let me put it that way. We have twice of this. So it's basically two times the peak value divided by pi. So we have two times, Vm is 100. So 100 divided by pi. So 2 times 100 is 200. And then divided by pi is equal to 66.66 .66 volts. Now to find the RMS value, the RMS value is equal to the amplitude divided by square root of 2. So that's simply 100 divided by root 2. And that is 70.71 volts. So these are some questions you may like to try your hands on. And then we also have the values or the answers attached to them.